Hey everyone, this is Mad Nomad. This is a demo of my new character sheet tweaks upgrade extension. It adds a bunch of enhancements to the uh, base character sheet tweaks extension, which was one of my most popular extensions so far. And this extension and its features within it were voted on and uh, brought to you by my patrons. So if you want to have more influence over what I build next and what I change and what I tweak, uh, you can check out my Patreon, and also if you like uh, or a fan of my work, please subscribe to the channel here. I appreciate it. All right, let's jump into it. So this is a pretty cool one that adds a bunch of new things to the character sheet, basically, right? So I'll start off by showing you um, the inspiration change. So if you click on inspiration, what it's going to do now is message everybody in the channel to let you know that um, inspiration has been used. It lets the DM keep track of people who are actually checking these things off or not. And when you gain inspiration, the same thing's going to happen. It's going to tell you if someone get gained inspiration. Just in case you have any sketchy players in your game, you can keep them honest. All right. <laughs> and all right, uh, the the rolling with disadvantage or advantage. So if you right click on anywhere, pretty much anywhere, you can roll a, um, a, a stat. Right. Uh, you can. Just click on roll with disadvantage and it'll automatically do that for you or roll with advantage. And this just is, I find to be a little bit faster and easier to do than having to, you know, come down here, then go back up to your sheet and then click on it. Um, it just makes it really easy to do. Uh, and you can do it like with the abilities. You can do it also in the skills page, you know, and I'll show you in the actions page as well, you know, so it's pretty much everywhere. Um, another thing from the main page you can do now is you can now roll perception directly from the main character sheet. Like before you had to go to the skills and double click it over there. Now it's built in there and you can also roll that with an advantage and disadvantage too. Uh, let's see, the next big changes are the actions page. All right, so there's a bunch of new filters down at the bottom here, as you can see. And I don't know if you've ever had this ex experience, but especially when you have like a higher level character, there's all kinds of actions and items and all kinds of stuff in there, right? It can be kind of hard to find things. So these filters are going to make it a lot easier. You can just click on, for example, spells, and it's going to auto collapse everything that's not a spell. So you can easily find your spells, right? Same thing with like items. If you've got an item section built in your sheet, it'll do that. And then other will be anything that's not an item or spell, uh, like character, class abilities, stuff like that. Uh, none, which is a quick way to collapse everything so that you can just expand whatever you're interested in. And then there's also even the filter. So if you have a certain filter, um, I don't what did I put on here? I think uh, color spray, or I can just type in certain thing I'm looking for. Oh, maybe I didn't put color spray, what did I put on? Oh, I didn't capitalize it. Color. There you go. Or like um, blade ward, I think was everything I did. Or what is it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, or like basic action, maybe um, dodge or something. Filter down to dodge. So yeah, this is a quick way to find any particular uh, action you have set up on your character sheet. The next thing is the abilities tab. So uh, when you add stuff to your sheet, what it will do now is it will track when it was added. So if I click this question mark next to a feature or a trait, it's going to show um, where it came from, right? If it can. So in this case, it knows that wizard level one or this game of the traits. Actually, I don't think um, they're all racial, right? So that actually I have to change that. So it should always say just a racial thing, but features and feats it should do. So if I add a feat here, let me do that right now. Let's add like athlete, right? And then I go up here and click on it. It's going to show me that it was added at wizard level one. And we can actually add some new levels here real quick to see this. Now, if we go back to our abilities tab, we should see ability score improvement happened at wizard level four. Blade song came at wizard level two. Now, just keep in mind, this will not work if you have already have a character that's already added a bunch of stuff in the past, the extension won't know where it came from. However, you can go in and actually just change it, you know, like whatever. Um, or if it says like unknown, like it will probably say for those new ones, you can just type in, you know, a wizard or even like Asner, 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 As
And then it will always remember that for the future. Uh, but anything you add after the extension, it will automatically do for you. So let's see, the next big thing, this one's really cool, uh, I think, it's uh, especially because it's gonna be related to another new module that I have, which I'll show you. But basically, uh, the, it's a complete reworking of the notes page. So that before, you know, all you could do is just kind of type in here. Now what you can do is click this and it'll pop up alignments. And you can create the alignments here. Um, or what you could do is use my module that I have that's out there now. It's linked in the same uh, Forge page here. I'm going to show you that real quick. Uh, I'm going to load Mad Nomad's character building blocks module. And that pre populates a story entry for all the alignments, right? And then what you can do is you can actually just drag that to the alignment section. And same thing for traits. You pop up the traits, and the character building box adds 100 new traits that you can use. And you can just drag those to your traits section. And you can add new rows, so that way, you know, you can have a specific row for each of them. And my OCD-ness, I guess, just was always annoyed that I couldn't do the drag and drop and, like, have different rows for the traits and the ideals, bonds and stuff. So this is sort of a solution to that. Uh, you know, I can just drop, drop them over. There you go. Same thing with ideals. Drop those over. And there's a hundred new ideals. There's a hundred new bonds and a hundred new flaws. Um, so all those are now drag and drop with the upgraded version. And the deity, uh, I can't put the DDs from DD in here directly because of just uh, copyright stuff. And we're trying to find some workarounds if you have the books, if I could preload it. But right now what you can do is you can, it'll have a table entry here that then links you to the, the gods, uh, deities, or you can create your own as a DM. Like if you have your own campaign and you have your own gods, you, know, you can go ahead and just create story entries for those. And then when players create their characters and they click on it, they'll pop up for them automatically and they can drag those over and that can have information, you know, about the portfolio, um, their favorite weapons, all that stuff, whatever you want to put in there about the deities. Same thing for all these. You want to create your own traits, your own ideals. All you have to do is just label them with the prefix. And then when players go to create their characters and they click on the, um, the title, it's going to pop all those things up for them. Um, the other thing, it's not so much related to the character sheet tweaks, but just since we're talking about that uh, other module, I'll show you real fast. It also adds 30 new backgrounds um, that are available and fully built out for characters to use. So it's kind of related to this thing, but not directly. Um, so these are some of the new uh, backgrounds that I've created here. You see kind of a wide variety, you know, uh, from a waiter to salesperson to prisoner, masseuse exterminators, crypt keeper, all kinds of weird new things. All right, so as far as the tweaks, I think that pretty much covers all the changes. I'm hoping that this just optimizes your character sheet even more and speeds up your play even more. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Thanks.